Thank you. We are blessed to be here this morning, amen. We thank the Lord for the rain. It has been threatening, amen. So I have a little bit of a lengthy subject, so but I, I want you to, if you can, to take down the scriptures, amen. This morning, uh, our subject is uh, the ordinances. Ordinances are what laws. So ordinances of the creation to manifest the sons of God. So there are certain things that God created that will bring you into the manifestation of the sons of God. Amen. So God bless you this morning. Amen. We want to, let me just repeat that, the ordinances of the creation to manifest the sons of God. So there are certain ordinances in the what? The creation that God created. Amen. So the creature that the scripture is speaking of, who are they? It's the animals. It's the earth itself. It's the planets. It's the stars. It's the oceans. It's everything that God created. Amen. So everything that God created is growing until now. And it's waiting to be set free from the corruption in this bondage. Who put it under bondage? The fall of Adam. Amen. But now it's it's under a bondage. The bondage means it's being it's, it's in slavery even. Amen. and it's being used against the sons of God. Amen. But they must rise up, manifested sons of God, to control the creation. Amen. Like Adam did. Amen. So let's look at it. Amen. The creature it says shall be delivered from the bondage of what? Corruption and it needs deliverance. Who must deliver it? Amen. The sons of God. The glorious liberty. Amen. Amen. But while the church does not know the power they possess, the devil and his angels are using the creation. Amen. Because it's under their bondage. They are also men. They have also been given power. And they fight the sons of God. Amen. Amen. But we want to give you your power back this Amen. Amen. They corrupted the creation and they use it against you. Yeah. They use the laws of the universe against the sons of God. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready this morning? I hope you slept well, amen. <laughs> We're going to drop a few bombs, amen, by the grace of God. God has given the heavenly bodies, amen. There's a scripture that says, amen, God has given the heavenly bodies to serve and benefit us. Amen. Deuteronomy 4, 4 verse 19. Amen. But be aware that you do not raise your eyes towards heaven and see the sun and the moon and the stars or the host of heaven and let yourself be led astray and worship them and serve them. Why? Why were people serving them? Because they saw these things have got power. And they are using that, they are giving a force on the earth. So the people started to worship the moon. They started to worship the sun. But God says don't worship them. Because they are created bodies which the Lord your God has allotted to serve and benefit all the people under the heaven. Amen. So God gave the sun to benefit the people. Amen. God gave the moon to benefit you. Amen. God gave the animals, the earth, the seas to benefit of the people. Amen. Amen. It's given to benefit us. But we are not drawing the benefits. Amen. Amen. But the sons, the, the angels, and the servants of Satan know the benefit and they use the benefit against us. Amen. And for their gain. But I'm saying this morning it's time for the sons of God to be manifest. Amen. And to take back control. Amen. Amen. The prophet of God, Brother Branham says in the message adoption, 1960, uh, adoption number four. He says, now this may just choke you to death. But did you know that men that are sons of God are amateur gods? Amen. 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 How many know that he says? Amen. How many know that Jesus said so? Amen. Jesus said, did not your law itself say that you are gods? Amen. If you call them gods to whom the word came. Amen. 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 Genesis chapter 2 said that they were gods. Amen. Who are gods? Amen. The sons of God. Amen. 
Because their father is a God. Amen. You are what your father is. Amen. 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 If you are really a son of God, that is. Amen. But man was created in the image of God. Amen. So even the fallen man is an image of God. Amen. 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 Brother Brenham says, because they were they had full dominion over the over the world. He gave him dominion over all things. Who did he give them? Adam. Did he take the dominion away? No. Yeah. He gave, he took away the spirit of God that was controlling. Yeah. But the dominion is still there. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And he lost his Godship. Why did he lose his Godship? Because he lost his offering. He lost his what? His sonship. Amen. Amen. Who lost that Adam? He lost his sonship. And we are under that. But it's been restored back to us. Amen. It says, and Satan took it over. Amen. So it's not just there, but Satan took over your dominion. Oh my God. God. And he's using it. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. But brother, we are waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God Amen. who will come back and take it over again. Amen. Amen. Waiting for the fullness of time when the pyramid gets to the top, are we at the top of the pyramid? Amen. When the full sons of God will be manifested, when the power of God will walk out and will take every power that Satan's got away from him. What power is Satan got? He's controlling the enemy, he's controlling the weather. That's why there was a, a, a lightning strike here on Wednesday. <laughs> now people said they saw it, it struck here. I saw it at the back then. <laughs> Amen. And someone said, uh, sometimes the witches will let you know, hello, just to say hi, how are you? It happens. You will find people, people from, from Zimbabwe, they know them. It's right. Angola, you know them, to be true. Amen. So we, we know maybe we are ignorant of those things. We'll just see a dry cloudless day, one cloud, people get hit by lightning. From one cloud. It's witchcraft. Yeah. What is it Satan took it over? Yeah. Is that the truth? Yeah. What am I saying? Am I talking nonsense? No, sir. Okay. Yeah. So when the sons of God must take back, amen, amen. and take away Satan's power that he has. Yes. yes, sir, it belongs to him, to who? To me and you. Amen. He is the low cause that went out of God. Who is that? Amen. You. Amen. amen. What is Logos? The pillar of fire. Amen. Amen. Are you following me? Amen. Amen. So then he said, if you call those the words whom, to whom the word came, God said himself, you are gods. He told Moses, I made you a god and made Aaron your prophet. Amen. Amen. He says, I may act like a religious Christ, but I'm not because it's rejoicing. Amen. When your eyes can come open and see those things. Amen. See what authority you have. Amen. 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 He made man a God in his domain, and his domain goes from sea to sea. Mm -hmm. So the sea, the land, everything that's in it is under your domain, domain and dominion. Mm -hmm. He has control over it. Now look at what fallen man has done. Created a Satan's Eden. What if he was a manifested son of God? What kind of an Eden would he create? Yeah. Jesus came being the one without sin, he proved it when the winds blow, he said, peace be still. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When the winds are blowing, he said, peace be still. Amen. When the tree, he said, no man eat from thee, when the tree didn't have fruit. Verily I say to you, you that's little gods, as Brother Brennan speak. If you say to this mountain, be moved and don't doubt in your heart, but believe what you said, you can have what you say. Does the church believe that this way? He says, go right back to Genesis to the original. What is it? Well, the world and nature is growing. Growing. It's crying. Everything's moving. Watch for the manifestation of the sun. The earth wants to be set free. Before the manifestations of God, when true sons, born sons, filled sons speak, and their words is backed up. Amen. 
Amen. I believe we are on the border of it right now. This was 1960. I believe we are there now. I believe so. I give it to you. He says, now look, paragraph. He says, brother so and so, yes, sir. Say to this mountain, let it be so. Paragraph 81. Brother, he's, he's making an example. I desire so and so a third certain thing done. I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. Your brother is coming to you and say, I want, I need something, a certain thing done. Then you say as a son of God. But the brother is speaking, he says, I give it to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Where are those sons of God that can say that can speak to them? He says there's a manifestation. He says, paragraph 83, oh brother, my crops are burning up out yonder. I haven't had any rain. Amen. Then the Son of God must say, I send you rain in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So what are you creating? What are you controlling? Nature. Amen. The creature, everything, the sun and the moon and the stars who are created. Yeah. Because they have power, I'll prove it to you in the scripture. Amen. Amen. But you speak and you say, I'll give you rain, brother, in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Amen. Do you believe you can do that? Praise Amen. God. Amen. If you don't believe, then I'll let this back up to you. Amen. 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 God ordained it at the beginning. He gave men the domain. He gave Jesus Christ. He says, it's groaning and waiting. And Jesus gave it in his name with this assurance. Ask the Father anything in my name and I'll do it. Waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God, the position, the church. The church must come into a position. It must step up. Are you ready to receive authority today? You go home and you study the whole Job 38. I want to read now Job 38 verse 33. The scripture says here, Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? What are ordinances? Laws. Amen. Amen. Do you know the laws of heaven? Oh my. It's God asking John. Can thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? So you mean to say there's dominion of the heavens on the earth? Oh my. And he's asking, can you put it in order? Oh my. It means it must be set in order. Yeah. And the witches and those people, they know those things and they use it. Yeah. That's why they, they, when do they make sacrifices? Full moon, new moon, and all of these things. Yeah. At the time when there's something happening where? In the heaven. Yeah. Are you together? Yeah. Am I talking sense here? Yeah. It says, can you set these laws this dominion on the earth. So, God, God is really asking Job rhetorically. He says, where were you when the sons of God sent together? Where were you? Can you hook Leviathan? It means you have to be able to hook Leviathan. Amen. Who is Leviathan? It's a great demonic power. Amen. 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 Because he says, I have given you authority. Are you with me? Amen. Now God is asking Job, can you set these laws on the earth and make them prosper here on the earth? Can you control things on the earth with the power of the heavens? That is the question to the sons of God. And I'm saying you can. Can you bring these ordinances, the powers of the heavens on the earth to use them to have dominion? Look at the moon. The moon is far from the earth, relatively speaking. But it's controlling the waves of the sea. Amen. Now the, the Lord is saying you must, as sons of God, manifest the sons, use the power that the moon is using to, to change things. Amen. That's why Adam could say, I don't want this one here, you go there. This Amen. Is me. Amen. Well, was Adam able to do that? Amen. That's exactly right. Amen. Amen. Because God gave the earth, God gave the stars, the moon, everything for the benefit of the people. Amen. Amen. It's given to what benefit us and serve us. Amen. 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 So you have servants and you don't know it. 
If something is given by God to serve you, will you not want to draw the benefit out of it? Yeah. 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 Am I talking funny things this morning? No, Genesis 1 verse 14. God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. But remember, by this time, God had already said, let there be light. Yeah. There was already light. Yeah. Now we say there must come another light yeah. to divide. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Yeah. Amen. What is that? The stars. Amen. But if you go into the Hebrew word for that season, the word that season is, you know the translation sometimes, it doesn't capture really what it is. Seasons there means prophetic appointments. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. When there's something like this months where we have been preaching on what was happening, it says something is happening in the earth. It's a prophetic appointment. Amen. Let me bring it back to the Bible so you can understand. When Jesus was born, there was a prophetic appointment. Amen. Emmanuel must be born. Amen. And where was it shown in the sun? Amen. So the stars was prophesied. Amen. I'm going to read you a scripture where you will see the stars are speaking. Amen. 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 The stars are prophesying. Amen. And what do we know about prophecy? We need to step into the prophecy. Amen. Amen. Mary stepped into Isaiah 9 verse 6. Amen. A virgin shall conceive. Amen. A son will be born. A son is given us. Amen. He shall be called Counselor, Wonderful, Prince of Peace, Amen. Mighty God, Everlasting Father. Amen. Mary stepped into that prophecy and it was made manifest. Amen. Now the prophecies that the stars are prophesying, you must step into them. Amen. The witches and, and the Satan worshippers and the Illuminati and all of these people, they are stepping into it. Oh my God. Is that right? Oh That's why they have Halloween. Oh or something happens on Halloween. Amen. Amen. La verite. Amen. Amen. That's the bar. Amen. We need to step into those prophecies. Amen. When the stars are prophesying something on earth, it's for your benefit, the scriptures. Amen. Amen. But because you don't know there's a benefit for me, you don't know there's there's money in the bank, then you stay hungry. Right. Yeah. 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 Because they are prophecies. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. We've lived long enough under those privileges. Amen. Are you still together? Please don't walk out. <laughs> this morning the man has lost his mind. But do you see what the scriptures are saying? Amen. Because of a lack of knowledge we perish. Amen. We don't know the ordinances of the heavens. We don't know the ordinances of the earth. But the scripture is declaring that. Amen. And we live by revelation. That's why we are revealing. Amen. We have to come into the prophecies that are given us. If somebody prophesies something about you and it's a good prophecy, believe it and it will happen. The enemy and his servants are using it against us. Amen. Listen, why did God create the, the, the heavens declare Psalm 19 verse 1? The heavens is Psalm 19. Let's get Psalm 19 verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament showeth his handiwork. Now listen to this. Day unto day utter speech. Amen. Who is saying, who is speaking day to day? The stars. Amen. The heavenly bodies. Amen. Night unto night showing knowledge. Amen. This is scripture. Are you reading it? He says there is verse 3, there is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. In all languages, they speak all languages. Yeah. Are you hearing what they are saying? Oh my. Yeah. I was bringing it out. Did you, you saw the ring of fire, what? Uh, the, the solar eclipse. Amen. Amen. Do you remember that one? Amen. It was saying something to us. Amen. It was prophesying. Amen. And we could get the revelation and bring it to you. Amen. Amen. 
He says that line verse 4 is gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. Everywhere these prophecies are running from the heavens. Amen. That's why when something happens, God shows it in the stars. Amen. Even the zodiac is prophesying. Amen. The virgin is saying there will be a virgin birth. Amen. Leo the lion is saying you will come the second coming as a lion. Amen. Amen. It's preaching to us. It has a voice. The scripture says it has a voice and it's speaking. Day and night speaking is not just metaphorically. They are having power over the earth. Are you following me, sir? Are you learning something? They are controlling the earth. It's amazing. Are you putting down these scriptures? Numbers 24, 17. What was it saying here? It's talking about it's Balaam prophesying. Balak had called Balaam to come and curse Israel. But because he could not curse Israel, he blessed Israel instead. Yeah. And he says verse 17, Numbers 24, 17, I shall see him but not now. I shall behold him but not now. There shall come a star out of Jacob. Amen. Amen. And a scepter shall rise out of Israel. And shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy the children of Shem. What will come out of Israel? A star. Amen. A star must rise. Who was he speaking of? The Messiah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Now there was a natural star, but there was also a spiritual star. Amen. Amen. I've spoken it before. Do you believe that everyone is born with a star? Amen. That's why the woman said to Brother Brenham on the bus, Don't you know there's a light following you? Amen. 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 And you have a light as well. Amen. Amen. Because you were born with a star. Amen. They call it a star, I don't know why, but the scripture is declaring it to be a star. Amen. It's linked to your destiny. Amen. To your program, your protocol, what God wants you to do on the earth. Amen. That's why the woman said to Brother Brennan, I can tell you when you were born. Amen. And she said, you will never have success here. You will only have success when you go out west. Amen. Amen. What was the climax of Brother Brennan's message to receive the seven seeds in the west? Amen. Are you following me? Amen. Now, if Brother Brennan did not have God took him on a journey and eventually he ended up in Tucson when the time was right. Is that right? Amen. But this woman had already seen it years and years before it happened. Because why? She saw the star. Amen. Amen. Now, and what did she say to the prophet? She said, isn't it strange that preachers have not talked to you about this? Oh my. Think about preachers do nothing of it. Think about it. Amen. The devils, the, the devils recognize Jesus. Amen. But the scribes did not recognize him. Amen. Blind leading the blind. Amen. And we are have been blinded because when you start talking about the zodiac, people will tell you that is devil and worship and things. No, because Satan always takes God things and he hijacks them. Amen. He hijacks the pyramid. When you talk about the pyramid, you are Illuminati. Yes, there is Illuminati. Yes, there is devil worshippers, but they hijack the pyramid. The pyramid belongs to God. They have made now the astrology and things more devil, but God is also using that. Everything that God has, Satan will copy it to try to make it look bad. That's why I think, think the marriage act of a man and you, a man and woman coming together as a man and a wife. What did Satan do? He perverted it. But it's a good thing. Amen. But he changed it into a bad thing. Amen. He changed the pyramid, it's a good thing into a bad thing. Amen. 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 He took the zodiac and turned it into a bad thing. He took the, the, the nature and all of these things. They were starting to worship the ground, they called it Gaia. Amen. Amen. They were starting to worship the sun and the stars. Now we, we are afraid of it to say, ah, they worship the sun, so it's bad. No, it was a good thing that was corrupted. Amen. 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 But because, amen, brother, sister, let me ask you this. There's, is there fake? There must be a dollars around. Yeah. Why don't you stop using money? Think about it. Amen. Think about it. 
Amen. Amen. To car accidents that happen with cars. Amen. Now let's all of us stop using cars. Amen. Amen. That's why I said long time, Amen. Because there was uh, sometimes uh, prophecies that were false prophecies, it does not mean that there's no true prophecy. Amen. Because there are false prophecies, does not mean that Brother Brenham is not a prophet. Amen. Or that there are no prophets. Amen. 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 We don't stop believing in those things because there's a focus. Amen. Amen. But we want the reality. Amen. We want the original. Amen. And the word of God will always take you to the original. Amen. 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 And we still to the original. So don't be afraid of these things. Stay in line with the word and be led by the Holy Spirit and you will not be afraid. Amen. So the scripture said there will rise a star out of Jacob. Whose star is that? Messiah. Amen. Jesus Christ. Yeah. What was he? The spiritual star. Your star is carrying your what? Your destiny. Amen. Amen. And we saw in the life of Brother Brenham how even the fortune teller, the gypsy woman, he says a beautiful young lady, she called him and says, there's a star following you. Amen. 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 The fortune teller. Amen. Spirit of divination is a devil spirit. Amen. But it recognized the star. Amen. 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 The devil knows, but we are ignorant. And now they use it against us. Amen. If you don't know your benefits, the somebody crooked in the bank will, will withdraw your money. Right. Is that right? Yeah. That's what the devil is doing. Yeah. The enemies can know about it and they know that they will have a star, a spiritual star that denotes your destiny. And they can tell you what you must be. You must be a preacher, you must be a businessman and they attack it. Yeah. They try to dim that star and stop it from rising. Yeah. What happened? When Jesus was born. Oh let, me, let me first read Proverbs 18 verse 16. Amen. Your immense gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. Amen. 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 What, what, what brings you before great men? Your gift. Amen. What makes room for you? Your gift. Amen. In the other translation it says it will bring you before kings. Amen. Amen. The star of Jesus was his gift. It showed his life. Is that right? Amen. It showed his destiny as a Messiah. Amen. Amen. Brother Brenham's star showed he's a prophet, a seer, and all of these things. Is that right? Amen. And what did Brother Brenham's destiny do? He brought him before kings and great men. Amen. 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 He made room for him. He says, Nobody wanted to be my friend. But when he was starting to reveal the secrets of people's heart and you could discern the secrets as people came to him, right. they had to run away from the people. Amen. Before that, nobody wanted anything. What happened? The star made room for him. Amen. And he brought you before great men. Amen. Now, what about Jesus Christ? Amen. Jesus' star, when it came out, Amen. it brought the kings to him. Amen. The three wise men. Amen. And those three men, they came with gifts. Amen. Do you see a two-year-old Jesus fasting and praying for money there? Come on. But the wise men saw his star and they brought money. Amen. The historians say, those Josephus, those writers, Come on. they say that that money was enough for Christ's entire ministry. Even the disciples inherited that, some of that money. You are not supposed to be struggling for this. Amen. Amen. When your star comes out, it will attract the right people into your life. Amen. Amen. It will make room for you. Amen. Is that the scripture? Amen. Is that what happened with Jesus? Amen. Now, if God did that, what did we say? The law of the first estate. If God does something the first time, He must continue doing it. Amen. How did God prepare the earth for Adam? Oh my. Go read the scriptures. I preached on it the other time. Do you remember? That's why Wednesday night come to church. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. I preached it on a Wednesday. When God put Adam on the earth, He put gold and things already there. Yeah. The scripture says, 
and the gold of that land was good. Go read Genesis chapter 1. The gold of that land was good. Why did God put gold there if Adam had the power of the spoken word? God was preparing already for his son things that he will have to God had already prepared three wise men to bring gold to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So that his son can learn now what about you? Oh my. If your star is coming up, but then the devil is seeing your star, then they attack you. Oh and they put curses on you. Oh but we are here to break those curses. Amen. We are here to break those bonds to you. Your star must die. You must reach your full potential. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm saying I want you, each and every one, to reach your full potential. Why God has put you here? I have found my calling. This is my calling. Amen. 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 What about you? Amen. Your calling is not to. To be in a job that you hate. Oh my. Amen. And you are praying the day to take me for Amen. the day to end. Is that right? No, no sir. Amen. Now can you picture Jesus being two years old fasting and praying for wise men to bring him something? No. The wise men saw the star. Amen. So some wise men, God has ordained your, your helpers in the what did we say the other day? There are people you will meet someone Amen. who will introduce you to someone Amen. to meet another person. That one open the door for you. Amen. Amen. When after I preached that, a brother came to me and he said, Pastor, you know the thing you said. Yeah. We met the lady for our papers. We met a lady who knows a lady. And that lady said, No, I'm walking there. Don't worry, everything will go through. Amen. <laughs> Those wise men to open your door. Amen. Because what did the wise men bring to Jesus? Amen. They brought him money. Amen. 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 You must take your idea of your business to a man and he will say, No. Meet this guy, he is in that petrol industry, and he meets you. He tells you another guy that you become partners with him. Amen. You know, foreigners are looking for Nubians to partner with. They have to buy the law. Is that right? No, why can't it be you? Because you are not the right people. Because the devil is keeping you from them. They can't. Things happen in the spiritual realm. It's in the spiritual realm. Is that correct? Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you following me? Amen. Amen. And what did the wise men bring? They brought spices. What do you use spice for to anoint? Amen. Frankincense, myrrh, it's there for your anointing. Amen. You must meet people who will take you and open doors for you. Amen. But what will lead the wise men to you? The star. Amen. And because you don't know about the star, but the devil does, he makes so that your star cannot be seen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Are you hearing something this morning? Yes. And Jesus gave, brought him also to the, the wise man, brought him to you. God must bring the things you need to your door. Amen. Amen. That's where they came. Jesus was not looking for them, they were looking for him. Amen. The historians are saying when Jesus was dying on the cross, he legally adopted John. And say, woman, this is your son, son, it is your mother. Amen. So that the disciples can have access to the gold that was still there. Oh my. It's what they are what the historians wrote. Oh my. Amen. Oh my. But so there's a star that needs to rise. Amen. There was a prophecy that went out one time. Amen. And it was said, there is a certain person, the star is rising. And the witches, they are, they are noticing it. Oh my. So God is warning, was warning to say, the death, you must be more careful, be careful, don't be afraid, but the star is rising, the devils are noticing it. Oh my. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. 
Praise God. When your star rises, it increases your anointing and your power. Amen. That's why Brother Brendan went from first to second to third. Amen. Amen. Some of us are not even in first gear yet. <laughs> Amen. We want to see these things opening, but what? What must be, what must happen? We need to know what to pray for. Amen. We knew we need to know what to What did Brother Marcus Baker say? Do you still remember the services? Amen. 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 He said it's not every time if somebody has a problem, it's not the devil every time that must be cast out. Sometimes it's a it's a deep hurt, a, a trauma or something. It's not necessarily a devil that must be cast out. Amen. Amen. There's, there's a hurt inside the, the soul or somewhere there. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That you need to handle in a different way. Amen. Amen. So there are spiritual things also. Amen. Amen. Spiritual levels. Amen. And that's why I'm bringing this to you, women, so that you can see what is happening in the spiritual realms. Are you, are you still following me? Don't worry, I'm making a recording. You can go and listen to it again. We don't know our relationship with our destiny. God, God ordained it like that. And because we don't see it, we don't think it's real. The Jews, they were looking at Jesus, the scribe and the Pharisees, they saw a man from Nazareth. Oh my. Just a normal man. Think about it. He looked very normal. But the devil said, you are the Holy One of God. Amen. Why did you come to torment us before the time? Amen. It's what you can see that makes the difference. Amen. And we see by faith. Amen. We walk not by sight, but by faith. Amen. So by faith, by revelation, you must understand that there are things happening in the spiritual world. Amen. Amen. The devil does things and sends things your way to make your star not to shine bright. Amen. So that the people who are supposed to be out, you don't see that star. The wise men were drawn to that star. Amen. Amen. What happens, what do we do many times? We uh, we go into agreement with Satan to say certain things of to accept the lies that Satan is saying about us. Amen. When you say you are broke, you are confessing poverty. <laughs> and you are agreeing with Satan. Amen. Poverty is not from God. Amen. But you say you confess it. And then the high priest of confession will make you poor. Jesus Christ will make sure you are poor. Amen. 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 Is that right? Amen. You confess I'm sick. Amen. You will be sick. Amen. Don't agree with Satan. Satan will come and tell you you are poor. He will show you you are poor. He will show you a bank balance. <laughs> but then you have to switch up on him and say, Satan, I walk by faith. Amen. The scriptures does say the law. You can say to Satan, thus say the Lord, because this is the Lord in the letter form. Thus say the Lord. Silver and gold are mine, say the Lord. But you see, we listen to Satan's lies, and then we confess and we bind ourselves with this. Thing. That black, that it takes your star, your star to go down. It blackens it. Do you understand in the spirit? Because you are confessing negative things over yourself all the time. Amen. That's why also we must be renewed by our mind, in our mind by the Holy Ghost. Because 90% of your thoughts are negative anyway. Oh my. Yeah. Amen. So even in your mind, what did the angel tell Brother Brennan? Tell the people their thoughts speak louder in heaven than their words. Yeah. Because what does Logos mean? It means the thoughts and the intent of the speaker's words. But it's also the thoughts. Amen. You are releasing logos every single minute. Oh my. Amen. Amen. That's why it's important to meditate on the word. Amen. The scripture says, when you walk, sing psalms to yourself. Amen. 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 What is that? It's a positive confession. Amen. Because the psalms never say negative things about you. Amen. God does not have one negative thing to say about you. Amen. Amen. But we have Satan so much by negative confession. 
But even sometimes, many times, he uses witchcraft and things also. Amen. And circumstances to get you down. Amen. Amen. But let me say this to you, church. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, may your star rise and be bright. Amen. 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 I'm, I want to stand in the gap for you to say today and say, God forgive us for every negative thought that we have. Can you say amen on that? Amen. Can we confess it today? Amen. God forgive us for every wrong thing that we have confessed with our thoughts, with our minds, with our words in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, may every sky in your eyes fire amen. and shine brightly amen. so that their destiny may be fulfilled, amen. that their potentials may be fulfilled amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what you should, when you pray, confess those things. Amen. Talk about your star, talk about your destiny. Amen. Don't just say, I'm here, the Lord wants to use me, he will use me. Oh my. Did you know that you can take yourself out of the economy of God? Amen. Some people die before their time, do you think it's God's purpose for them? They brought it on themselves. Amen. 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 Start to make a positive confession. Amen. I've pleaded for you now for forgiveness for every wrong thing that you do. And I want to break every demonic chain Amen. that is blackened in your side, keeping it from being seen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You know, when Abraham was born, if you go read it in the book of Jeshua, when Abraham was born, there was a star. And the wise man said to, to Nimrod, the king, you know Nimrod? Yeah. He was the king when Abraham was born. And they said, this man, he will conquer everything and everything will possess. So they wanted to kill Abraham and he had to flee. His father took him to uh, to the son of Noah, to his father, what? Who was the son of Noah? Shem. Amen. 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 So he grew up in the house of Shem. It's according to the book of Jasher. <coughs> we just, when we hear about Abraham, we just see him. He's already living in Ur. Or the child is. He's coming from Haran, from Ur to Haran. Amen. And then God speaks to him and says, Abraham, go there. Amen. But they all, the devil always wants to cut. When Moses was born, there was also a star. Oh my. And that's why you see it in the, in the movie, The uh, Ten Commandments. Who's, have you watched Have you seen that movie? Yeah. Yeah. It's a movie, Brother Brandon said, you go and watch that one. Yeah. And in that movie, when Moses is born, they saw an the Egyptian magician saw a star. <coughs> and they said, this one will deliver the Hebrews. And that's why they started to kill the boys. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Every time when something happens, Satan tries to stop it in the Bible. Yeah. Now what about you? That's why even when Brother Brennan was born, his father went to work very far away and then he became winter. And him and his mother almost died in the house. Is that right? Yeah. Luckily, by the grace of God, not luckily, but God, I believe, inspired the neighbor. He said, I don't see any smoke coming from that place. And it's winter. Then he went to check and he found them freezing to death. And he helped them. Amen. Every time God wants to do something, now what about your life? You are here for a purpose. You are not just here to sit in the benches. Amen. You are here to fulfill God's purpose here on the earth. Amen. So let's run. The time is running. Are you still together with him? Joshua chapter 10 verse 10. Are we learning something this morning? And the Lord verse 10. And the Lord discomforted them before Israel. He, the Lord defeated them. And slew them with the great slaughter at Gibeon. And chased them along the way that goes up to Beth Horon. And smote them to Azekah and unto Makeda. And it came to pass as they fled from before Israel. And were in the going down to Beth Horon. That the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah and they died. So God was hailing, raining hail on them. They were much more died with hailstones than the whom the children of Israel slew. So there's another scripture. God says, I have stored for me these things in the time of war. 
Amen. Amen. God has got things in the time of war, and no, you know what? What is the father's is yours. Amen. Amen. Now don't start prophesying hailstones to rain on somebody you don't like. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Do you believe? <laughs> Verse 12. Then spoke Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of all Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajah. Mm -hmm. For what was Joshua doing? Speaking to the sun. Is he man or what? Is he crazy or what? He did it under inspiration. He spoke to the sun and the moon because he had the revelation. And the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the people had avenged them upon their enemies. It's not this written in the book of Jesha. So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down about a whole day. And there was not a day like that before it or after that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man. God never said to Joshua, speak to the sun. Think about it. Think about it. Joshua never fasted and then started to speak to the sun. Amen. Amen. Joshua didn't have time to pray. He was in the battle. Amen. Amen. He spoke it. Amen. And he believed what he said. Amen. Because he says, I'm in the middle Amen. of doing God's work. Amen. I need the Son to stand still. He said, Amen. If God did it for Joshua, he must do it for you. Amen. Amen. There's one thing God cannot do. God cannot lie. Amen. Amen. Joshua did it, it means it's there for an example for me and for you. What about in this day, William Branham spoke to a storm in Colorado? Amen. 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 Sons, storm, I resent your coming. Amen. What about the storms in your life? Amen. 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 He said, I want a squirrel here and I want a squirrel here. Squirrels, brother. And you have food, you need food. Oh my. You need back to school, you need money to send your children back to school. Amen. Amen. You need food in your house for your family. Amen. You need fuel in your car. Amen. You need a car in the first place. Amen. And there was no day like that before it or after it. Yeah. Why can Joshua speak to the sun and to the moon? It's part of the creation. Amen. Where was thou when I laid the foundation? You were there when God was creating. Amen. Because you are made in the image of God, that's why even fallen men can do the Joshua without the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost was not yet that time. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. But the Son hearkened to the voice of a man. Amen. Think about it. And there was no day like that before it was that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man. Amen. For the Lord fought for Israel. Did the Lord stop fighting for Israel? No, no, no sir. Did the Lord stop fighting for spiritual Israel? No, 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 no sir. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. What God has done for them, He must do for you. Amen. You speak to the you have power to speak to the sun. Amen. 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 The witches use the sun and the moon and the stars to curse people. Oh my. Did you know that? Yeah. Oh my. Amen. Amen. Is that the truth? Oh my. They have rituals <laughs> and they channel the power of the sun, the moon, the stars to hurt people. Oh Amen. If you want a testimony, you ask Pastor China Master to give his testimony. It was in Guinness Book of World Records. Oh my. The most people hit by lightning in a heart. Only his mother survived. Because she was to bring forth the seed. Amen. That must preach the gospel. Amen. But what was it? It was an unnatural lightning. Amen. Who brought it there? Witches. Amen. Amen. They are speaking to the creation. You, you don't want to speak to creation. 
Joshua, here it is in the scripture. Here it is in our day, in our spoken word, where William, Mary, and Brennan spoke to stories. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What happened when Auntie Jemima said, What did Auntie Jemima say? Lord, I am that Shunammite woman. Amen. What did she do? She spoke. Amen. She said, Where is my Elijah? Amen. And God broke down Elijah's plate. If you need an Elijah, if you need a fish bank, whatever you what did Jesus say to Peter? Amen. They said we must, you know, they got the, the work in the mail from Ministry of Finance, number up. You must pay your taxes. He said, no, we can't, the money is too far in Nazareth. Peter, you go to the shore and go catch a fish. In the fish now, there will be a coin. Imagine one coin to pay both the taxes. One coin. Brother Brennan said when he, he went in the tax case with the government, they said, William Brennan, you know, they want, he said, but I've done nothing wrong. Amen. The money, he did not ask the people for money. Amen. He paid his tax on his salary that he was gone. But the people wrote and they said to Brother Brennan, but he said, I take that check and I turn it over to the evangelistic society. Amen. So he did not touch the money, he just went straight and says it went for the missions and for the foreign fields and all of that. Amen. But they said, okay, Brother Brennan, they wanted to name him, what is it? It's always the devil using it. Amen. 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 So they said, okay, at least we was good you need him. We have to at least just hit you. And Brother Brennan was upset. He said, but I did nothing wrong. Amen. I did not solicit the money. I did not ask people for offerings. They just give it. Right. And the checks was just put straight in there. Said, yeah, but it was yours because it's written in your name. Then they said, okay, Brother Brennan, we can see you are honest men and you know, but we'll make a deal with you. You must pay an X amount of tax. But Brother Brennan said, but I don't even owe that tax. You oh see, don't look for fairness in the world. Yeah. Yeah. He did not owe that money in tax. Yeah. But then he prayed and he said, God revealed to him that God still has fish banks in the world. Amen. <laughs> because in the day of Jesus, there was a fish bank. Yes. And a fish with a coin in its mouth. And brother, there was a brother who gave Brother Brennan that money and he said, you don't have to pay it back. Amen. A fish bank. Amen. Now does God still have fish banks? Amen. Amen. Maybe you need to pay taxes. Amen. Maybe you need to pay school fees, I don't know. God still has fish back. Amen. Command the sea to bring a fish. Amen. Amen. Somebody will catch a fish in one fish brain. You will go buy it in the fish shop, you will find something in there. Find it in no fish. Amen. <laughs> or God will send somebody for the money that you need. Amen. I was listening to one minister, he was saying we needed the biggest convention that they had was what? 60,000, 30,000. Then he said, God said to me, the next convention must be bigger, you must make it 300,000. Right. Yeah. He said, how will I get the money? You know, that's why, where we are starting. <laughs> God says, don't worry, I will provide. Amen. 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 We are so used to looking at these things. The music. Yeah. Then they met a man, they had, I think, a Bible study or something. There was a Jewish man there. And they said, we'd like to sponsor your meetings. Write the check, here's the money, 300,000. Hallelujah. What is that? Fish bank. Hallelujah. But I'm here to say you can command, you can speak. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are, you, are you getting tired? Amen. I want to drop some more bombs, then I drop them. Amen. Start to speak to the creation. Amen. It is what the manifested sons of God must do. Hallelujah. The people who are farming or message believers, you must send them rain. Amen. 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 What about the job for a brother? Can you do that? Amen. 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 What about somebody wants a child? You can do that. Amen. 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 Judges 5 verse 19 is uh, the story of, of Barak and uh, Deborah. 
The kings came and fought and fought the kings of Canaan in Karnak by the waters of Megiddo and they took no gain of money so they didn't have, get anything, they were defeated. They fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Caesar. Huh? They fought from heaven. You mean to say the stars can fight for you? Amen. Amen. Don't start to bewitch people now. Because God will also, Brother Brennan says, God, you, 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 otherwise we will speak each other out of existence. <laughs> but here the scripture is saying they fought from heaven the stars, you can command the stars to fight for you. Amen. To change the atmosphere. What, what does it do? It says there's a spiritual energy. Yes. What causes, have you seen the power that controls the waves? of the sea. Yeah. Did you see that power? Yeah. Did you see there's something flowing or no? Yeah. But it's there. Yeah. It's a spiritual energy. Yeah. It's a power. Yeah. How does people get healed? When you lay hands on them, does they go panado through your hands? <laughs> no. We don't understand the mechanics, but there's a power. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. There's a power in the stars, in the moon, in the sun, in the earth. Yeah. In the waters, there must be people. Yeah. The problem is the power has always been there, we just didn't know how to use it. Yeah. The stars can fight against your death. Amen. Amen. The stars can fight against your problems. Amen. Because what causes problems? Atmospheres cause problems. Amen. So if the stars can give God the energy and change the atmosphere, the problem will be gone. Is that right? I'm not saying pray to the stars. I'm saying command the creation. Amen. Joshua said, sun stands still. He did not say, oh sun, beautiful sun, praise God, you are the sun. No. He commanded it because it's under his feet. Amen. As the son of God. Amen. Standing in the duty of God. Amen. Amen. Don't go sit in the bar and then want to command things to come. <laughs> You are out of the will of God. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You have to stay in the line of duty. Yeah. Stay under the blood. Stay with the word. Yeah. If thou abide in me and I in you, then you ask for truth. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Joshua was right in the middle of what God wanted him to do. That's why he could command the son. If you want to do it for your selfish motives, it won't work. But God knows you need money. God knows you need a title, not selfish to desire. Stop being so humble. Job 38 verse 12. I'm giving you secrets here to fight your spiritual battles. As thou commanded the morning since thy days. Verse 12. As thou commanded the morning since thy days and caused the day spring to know his place. As you commanded the day. Your days are so dear Makar, because you don't command your days. But somebody else does. People are commanding your life, are programming your life, and you are living their life what they are programming. Why does Brother Brennan say, I rise up early and I speak to God? That's the time the Holy Spirit comes. Yeah. That's the time you must get up early and pray to God. Amen. And speak to the day. Amen. Command the day to be a blessing to you. Amen. Command the day to bring forth something. Amen. Is this what the scripture says? Yes, now commanded the morning. Who was speaking? God speaking to John. Yeah. To do what? That it might take hold of the ends of the earth that the wicked might be shaken out of your feet. The wicked must be shaken out of your days. But you must speak, you must command the day. Amen. 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 Are you following what I'm saying? Amen. Speak to the day in the morning. But you know the time you pray at five, at six. The witches have already done their things at 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Amen. 
He said that. Right. They've already bound you. You won't even get up to pray that much. Yeah. Can you see what's causing prayerlessness? And you don't know why you just feel tired. Yeah. Somebody was busy with you while you were sleeping. <laughs> oh my God. Verse 14, it is turned, what is it? It says the ends of the earth, it is turned as clay to the seal. What is turned as clay to the earth? And they stand as a garment. And from the wicked their light is withholden and the high arm shall be broken. <laughs> But what I want to go to is the clay. What is done with clay? Something is made from clay. Yeah. Something is fashioned. Whatever you want to do, you can do with clay. Yeah. It's what you can do with your day when you command it. Amen. Power of life and death is in where? Yeah. Are you following me? Yeah. Start programming your life. Amen. Speak to your life. Speak Amen. to your word. Speak to your day when the day starts early. But you have to be earlier than, than those ones. That's why we started praying this week from 12 o'clock to 1. Amen. 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 When they do their things at 3 o'clock, we already cut them off. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Command your day from today on. Amen. Amen. Command the day to bring forth blessings. Amen. 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 What did the scripture say? The sun will not what sting you or something. Amen. Does it say that? Now, so it means that the sun can sting you. If somebody tells it, go sting that one and they know what they are doing. Amen. So what is the, 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 the thing with clay? The earth is clay, is that right? Yeah. What does Adam mean? Clay. Yeah. What are we? We are earth, we are dust, yeah. we are clay. Yeah. Amen. So what do you do with clay? You form it the way you want to form it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Am I speaking to sons and daughters of God? Yeah. Yeah. You can speak to your body, yeah. it's clay. Yeah. You can turn it the way you want it. That's why I, I was reading, the girl was how many pounds overweight. She says, I don't want the body shot. Yeah. Within a few hours. Yeah. Because it's clay. Yeah. There's power of life and death in the tongue. Yeah. That's why the Gina Masa will pray for the sister. Yeah. For Amen. those who didn't hear the testimony, Amen. the sister had woman, can I say small breast? Amen. She want a small chest Amen. size. She want a bigger chest size. Amen. Amen. Are you following? Amen. God listen to the prayer. Amen. It's a real testimony from Pastor Chinna Do you think it's witchcraft? No. no. Why is it? Because the body is clay, it can be remade. How do you think God can give you a new pancreas level because it's clay? He can speak it, he can make it new, everything. Vocal rooms can, can be set. It's clay. In the hands of God. But if your father does it, what about you? He is the potter, I am the clay. If he's given me his pottery business, let me make pottery. Let me work with the clay. You can speak to the earth and hold it like clay. Amen. The enemy knows it and he uses it against us. That's why the scripture says in Romans, are you still together? Amen. Don't leave me now, we are coming to the, to the climax. Amen. That's why the scripture says in Romans that creation is waiting to be set free. Amen. The creation does not want to be used against God and his people. Amen. But it's subject to vanity because there's another scripture, I didn't put it down, but it says it was given, the, everything was given to the sons of men. Amen. Amen. So even the wicked men, they have power on the earth. Because they are made in the image of God. Amen. That's why Satan was fighting for the body of Moses. Amen. 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 
in one's bodies. Amen. The evil spirit is nothing without the body. Amen. That's why don't make your body available to Satan. Amen. Unfortunately, many people they give their body to Satan. Amen. And you shoot arrows at somebody. Amen. Satan is using your body to you think bad thoughts, you say bad words. Amen. Some people, the devil goes so far, he uses your body when you are sleeping. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. You must start listening to what the Satanists who are, who are coming to Christ, what they are saying. They are saying those things. Not one people, all of them. Yeah. Have you heard something like that before? Yeah. Is it the truth? Yeah. They are using your body to go and do something there. Sometimes people who have died, they are buried, they are not dead, they use them. Amen. There's a lot of things going on. The bondage and corruption of the witches and the agents of Satan using God's creation against his people. But the earth is the earth of mother. There's a scripture where God said, where the scripture says, the sheep is a mother. It's mother earth. And a mother has a womb, right? Yeah. Yeah. And a womb is for what? To receive seed. To receive seed. Yeah. And your words are what? Seeds. Yeah. So start planting your seeds. Yeah. Speak to the earth. Yeah. What did God do? Let the earth bring forth. Yeah. Yeah. What was he doing? He was planting seeds. Amen. And did the earth bring forth? Amen. Yes. Amen. The earth brings forth what also ever God said bring forth. It brought forth. Amen. Where did the animals come from? They came out of the earth because they are dust. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. What the, God is your father. Let the earth bring forth. Amen. You can speak to anything that comes from the earth and it must obey you. Amen. Do you need a house? Amen. Do you think the earth can bring forth a house? Amen. Don't ask me how it will happen. Amen. I don't know the mechanics and the dynamics of it. I don't know how people without houses bought houses. Amen. Have you heard of those testimonies? Amen. How did it happen? I don't know. Amen. All I know is God said speak and word why Christ speak. Yeah. But you must learn what to say if you say to the earth, earth bring forth, it must bring forth. Yeah. I don't know what the earth is because the earth is a living thing. The earth is breathing, don't you know this? Yeah. The earth is speaking also. Yeah. What it when Cain killed Abel, the, the scripture says that the uh, the earth cursed came. God says, you are cursed from the earth. The earth cursed came. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Must I read the scripture to you? Yeah. Genesis 4, 8. Cain talked with his brother and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? He said, I know not am I my brother's keeper. Genesis 4, 8. He said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood. The voice, the blood is a voice yeah. from the ground. And now thou art cursed from the earth. God didn't say, I curse you. You are cursed from the earth. The earth curses. That's why many nations, because of innocent, shed blood. That's why we must pray for our city. Amen. The innocent bloodshed is causing the earth to, to curse all of the inhabitants. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. We've seen those things happen. Amen? Yeah. When the ground is cursed, it doesn't bring forth. And that's why he said, When thou fillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond thou shalt be in the earth. Amen? Many times it's in our families that somebody did something and then the earth curses the family. No matter what you do, because everything on the earth comes from, from the earth. This building that you see came out of the earth. The bricks came from where? This one came from where? The ceiling. 
the iron for the aluminium, whatever it comes out of the earth. Amen. So can you see if the earth is angry for you, you will have trouble. Amen. That's why the scripture said that Cain will be a vagabond, he will, he will be like a swerver, he will just go from place to place. Amen. He will find no home with the earth because the earth is angry at him. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. Am I talking? Am I talking crazy things here? No. What did God say? Let the earth bring forth. Yeah. When you go home today, go take some earth and speak to it. Yeah. Don't think I'm crazy. Yeah. That you will be crazy. Say, earth, give me my own house. Yeah. Oh. The car that you wanted, where does the rubber come from? From the earth. Yeah. The aluminium, everything comes from the earth. Yeah. Speak to it. It must obey you. Amen. Your words are seeds. Amen. Don't tell me how long I don't know. Don't tell me how I don't know. There's a power in the earth. The earth has power to swallow up. Amen. 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 Is that the scripture? Yeah. Yeah. The power of the earth has power to swallow up yeah. and to spit out. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Command the earth to say, you need a husband. A husband is made of clay, right? Yeah. Send the earth, send me my husband. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. A husband is made of earth, boss. Yeah. Huh? Or the wife. Yeah. It's a beautiful earth. Amen. You play lovers. <laughs> Amen. But what is it? The clay in God's hand, God made people beautiful. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Speak to the earth. What did God say? Bring forth. Bring forth. It was only when God made man. <laughs> Then he said, let us make man in our image and likeness. Amen. Amen. And what did God create? Genesis 1.26. He did not create the flesh man. Amen. The flesh man, he went again and he took clay Amen. and he built a body. Amen. And he put the spirit of Adam inside that body. Amen. 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 Is that right? Amen. So who is speaking when you are speaking? It's the spirit man. Amen. It's not the flesh man, this is just a thing. Amen. Amen. So if if you have if the spirit of God dwells in you, who gave your breath? Well, that's why even the evil man can do it. But now we have the Holy Ghost. Back then what Adam lost has been restored. Amen. So when you speak, it's God speaking. Amen. 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 Jeremiah 22 verse 28 Is this man Konia a despised broken idol Jaconia? Konia is Jaconia who was the king of Judah the son of King Josiah So God says is this man a, a broken idol? Is he a vessel where there is no pleasure? What is, it's a rhetorical question because God says this man is a broken life. It's really what he's saying. Wherefore are thy cast out he and his seed and are cast into the land which they know not? God says, O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, write ye this man childless. God is cursing the man by speaking to the earth. Amen. Amen. A man that shall not prosper in his days. For no man of his seed shall prosper sitting upon the throne of David and ruling anymore in Judah. God cursed them because of idolatry. Amen. Because of their idolatry, God had to destroy Jerusalem and take the people away. Now God could have just said, you are cursed. Amen. But now he says to the earth, to the earth must listen, he says, write it. Yeah. Amen. Write ye this man childless. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he didn't have children, but he was without posterity, he is without success. Yeah. He is without somebody as an heir to sit on the throne of Judah. Yeah. 
and that prophecy is still fulfilled today. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see how powerful it is when you speak to the earth? Yeah. To who did God speak? Yeah. Is it just metaphorically say to the earth? No. Thus say the Lord, earth, earth, hear the word of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God has spoke to the earth and it has obeyed. Amen. The earth has a mouth, the earth can hear you also. Amen. You speak to the earth, amen. Earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Amen. The earth curse clean. Amen. Countries are cursed because of innocent bloodshed. Families are cursed. Amen. Families that are what? That are earth. Amen. Amen. That's why you need to repent many times from the sins of your forefathers. Amen. You write it down, you go do it today. Go sit and pray, God, forgive my forefathers for what they have done. Amen. Amen. You all, we also need to repent for the previous people who lived in this country. Amen. Many things cannot go well because of the evil that was committed against the people. We have to ask forgiveness for that. The earth has a record of these things. She remembers and she holds back the blessing. Leviticus 18 24 says, The earth vomited up the inhabitants of Canaan. Is that right? Go no, really. Because of what? Their idolatry. The earth itself vomited them up. The earth is loving. It speaks and swallows to it. Yeah. Amen. And the Lord spake, number 16, 23, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the congregation. Say, Get you out from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. What did they do? They attacked Moses. Amen. And Moses rose up and went unto Dathan and Abiram, and the elders, elders of Israel followed him. And he spake to the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest you be consumed in all their sins. So they get up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan and Abiram on every side. And Dathan and Abiram came out and stood in the door of their tents and their wives and their sons and their little children. And Moses said, Hereby shall you know that the Lord has sent me to do all these works. For I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord makes a new thing, and the earth opens her mouth and swallows them up with all these that pertain to them, and they go down quick into the earth, then you shall understand that these men have provoked God. And it came to pass as he made an end of speaking these words. Who was speaking? God? No. Moses. As he made an end of speaking, that the ground claimed for thunder that was under them. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up. And their houses and all the men that pertain to Korah and all their goods. Then all that pertain to them went alive into the earth and the earth closed upon them. They perished from amongst the congregation. So what did Moses say? Moses said the earth must do something. Amen. The earth must swallow them up. Can I speak to the earth this morning on your behalf? Hallelujah. Amen. Can I command the earth this morning? Amen. Earth, earth, earth. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord this morning. Amen. Swallow up every stronghold Amen. that exalts itself against this congregation in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm speaking to the earth this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Earth, earth, earth. Hear the word of the Lord. Vomit out of this land all that bring curses and witchcraft against the people of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Swallow up every problem and every situation and every circumstance, every bad report against the brothers' congregation in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are commanding the earth to swallow up your problems. We are commanding the earth to swallow up any altars of witchcraft that has been set against you. Hallelujah. We are saying to the earth this morning, hear the word of the Lord and vomit out those witches and wizards. Amen. 
Amen. That are fighting the people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's power in the word of God. Amen. Uh, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Where does the money come from? Amen. Bring forth financial breakthrough Amen. to the people of God. Amen. This morning, in the name of Jesus. Let me speak to your earth body now. This body that is earth. Hear the word of the Lord, earth body. In the name of Jesus. Vomit out every sickness, every disease, every cancer, every high blood pressure, every cancer cell, every sugar diabetes, any depressions. Vomit it out right now in the name of Jesus. Be beaten up by the Amen. Amen. Oh, 
don't be selfish in your motives. You will become a witch. This is the power of the devil. If you use it wrong, you will end up in the wrong place. Amen. The witches who are using them, they will pay for that. Because they bring a corruption to the earth. Amen. They cause people's blessings not to come to them. Through their using, misusing the power of God. Amen. Causing storms on the earth. You know that those they do those things. Who caused the storm in the time of Jesus? It was the devil. Yeah. When the disciples were there, Jesus was there, then he came walking on the water. Yeah. Who caused that? Demons, devils, yeah. witches. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Who is causing car accidents on the road? Yeah. It's witches. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So we are above them. Yeah. Jesus has said, I give you power over scorpions and snakes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. May God bless you this morning. May God bless you this morning. Let's speak to our Heavenly Father. Let's sing this song.